Hey guys, it's Katrina. I don't know about you, but when I hit the beach, I can't leave home without a good read. I'm joined today by Emily Giffen, author of one of the hottest novels this summer, Where We Belong. So now, for those of you at home, Emily is the woman behind Something Borrowed, which turned into one of our favorite motion wasn't pictures. Wasn't it good? We loved it. I thought they did an amazing job. Kate Hudson was so good in it, wasn't it? I thought she was she? amazing. I mean, she like owned that character. She's, I mean, and Darcy is tall, brunette you know, cheekbones, and Kate's beautiful, but she looks nothing like Darcy, but her, the essence is the yes. same. It makes you think she must be Darcy in real life. <laughs> I'm like, you're just way too good at this. <laughs> and now speaking of that, was that inspired by any personal experiences? Was there a Darcy and Dax in your life? Well, I have yet to write about, you know, something that's actually happened in my life, yeah. but you know, the relationships, of course. Of course, like I, you know, as I just said, I can, I can relate to that friend. Yeah. And I can relate to turning 30, you know, well, I've just turned 40, but when I was writing something borrowed and turning 30, mm -hmm. I could relate to that feeling of, oh my gosh, like, is this where I want to be? Am I happy doing this? And, you know, I think that in all my books, there's sort of a universal theme there, yeah. like love the one you're with about the one who got away, like the guy yeah. that you can't get over. And what if you run into him? And, um, you know, I certainly, I think Where We Belong has a lot of those universal themes, too, that people can relate to, of, like, questioning who you are and where you're going, mm -hmm. and so. Are there any plans to turn something blue into a film? You know, all of my books have been, um, or, f or five of the six have been yeah. optioned, in including the new ones. Wow. So, yeah, so um, I think that the next, the one that's probably closest is Love the One You're With, because um, they're looking mm -hmm. for the directors attached, the great actresses on board, and the script's written, and heart of the matter, the script is underway, but I think that That's something amazing. blue will happen, and I want to see those two together, Krasinski, John Krasinski and Kate Hudson. You know, everyone walked out of the movie and kind of was like, well, I guess they're not going to end up together, and disappointed, because that's the way it is in the book, but... I'm glad to hear that if there is a something blue, we could see that happen. Yeah, so, well, I mean, that's a, a to be continued at the end yeah. of the movie, so that is the plan. And I think that um, John and Kate are both excited about that and on board with it. So tell us a little bit more about what we can expect when we see Love the One You're With on the big screen. Well, that should be happening soon. I, last I heard when I met with the producer is fall or spring to, to be shooting that. But I think it'll have a in more of an indie feel. Yeah. And the script is really layered and nuanced. And I, this I told the screenwriter, it's such a compliment to her, that I read a few things. And I'm like, oh, I wish I had thought of that <laughs> myself for the book. But, um, you know, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be great. So. And now tell us a little bit about where we belong and, you know, what inspired that story. It's definitely, it is a little bit of a shift from what we've seen from you. I personally loved it. Everyone at home has to read it. Just a very brief setup. Uh, a, a woman is, is pre becomes pregnant when she's a teenager, and she gives her baby up for adoption and never tells anyone, doesn't tell the, the baby's father, her own father, uh, uh, her own mother knows, yeah. but that's it. And then 18 years later, there's a knock at the door, and there is the, the, um, the baby all grown up. The book is about the search that yeah. they, they're, they're both on Go this. Together. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I think this universal need to understand, like, who, who are we? Like, where do we come from? And where are we going? And, you know, to use yeah. the title, where, where do we belong? But um, what goes into, again, the research mm -hmm. to creating this book? You know, you are a mother yourself, but you haven't had this experience. Sure, so. sure. Yeah, you know, um, because I write about relationships, yeah. you know, and I draw on my own relationships, of course, you don't have to do a lot of research per se, but as you said, this is a scenario, you know, I've had three biological children, mm -hmm. I wasn't adopted myself, um, I don't have any really close friends who had. Yeah. I think adoption is, is just so rich with uh, opportunities to explore relationships and emotions that I mm -hmm. think that's why I... I chose um, chose that backdrop to the story. So, what advice would you give to authors? You know, we're seeing so many books come into movies. Our readers mm -hmm. are obsessed with everything, from Twilight to now the Fifty Shades. How do you give an author like what What's important as an author to remember when that movie, you know, that book ships off to Hollywood and sure, comes yeah. alive? Um, you know, I think it's just important to remember the book is the book, and it's like it's always going to be there, and you have to let. You know, you, you have to you have to trust people with your work, and then let them sort of, you know, t give their creative take on it. And um, so I think that's what I've what's made it so enjoyable for me. It's not going to be exactly like the book, 
But you know, everyone knows the book's always better. <laughs> well, for you guys at home, be sure to pick up Where We Belong on store shelves now, download it, throw it in your beach bag, you won't be disappointed. Emily, thank you so much for joining thank me. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. And guys at home, for all your news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com.